Fire crews remained on scene for hours after the fire started putting out hot spots. When the first crews arrived around 2.30 in the afternoon, the building, which is a garage and workshop, was engulfed in flames. We seen no smoke, no smoke, we seen the flames and we seen shots going off. Sound like gunshots. Benny Carraro owns Benny's Bada Bing Pizza and Pasta across the street from the fire scene. His grandson, Dominic, shot video before fire crews arrived. Benny tells Eight on Your Side when the ammunition started going off, he told his customers to take cover. I ran inside, told them, get your pizza, come inside, too, the customers. And that's where they stood. And we heard them right inside the store, too, all the shots going off. It sounded like a war. It did. Eagle 8 HD flew over the scene shortly after fire crews arrived. The flames burned two victims who were able to tell first responders they were refilling ammunition with gunpowder before the fire started. That turned out to be life-saving information for firefighters and those living nearby. We were quickly determined that there was a large amount of gunpowder within the structure, uh, which quickly caught fire. We contacted the sheriff's office. Uh, worked with them and had to evacuate the area. After several hours, crews were able to get the fire under control. Benny says it's been quite the day in Venice. Yeah, everything's kicked back here, you know. It's, you know, the worst things happened down here is that uh, somebody stole somebody's underwear off their line. I mean, that's the biggest crime there was when we first came down. Authorities have not released the names of the victims, so we haven't been able to check on their conditions. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. In Venice, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.